Well, let's, let's do a quick one on how you recover, your favorite recovery methods. And then I, I, I can't go without talking about American Ninja Warrior. So we'll get to that too. But uh, yeah. how do you recover from all these races? Because I mean, I know even after you run a 50K, you, you still run the next day and you run slower um, or take it easy, listen to your body. But what are the things that you do? Um, I know you said yoga, but what else do you do for recovery? Um, a lot of it is meditation. So for me, I, I rely heavily on meditation and the mind control. I believe that our mind is the biggest obstacle. And running these 50Ks, you know, I spend, let's say, eight hours out there. And that's eight hours of a Saturday that I could be spending with my family. So after I'm done, I better not go to sleep. I better not just call it a day. So I mentally, I have to get into, all right, I'm checked out of my race. I had, I didn't, I had my me time. It's three o'clock. I just been running for eight hours. I have to be dad now. I have to be the husband now. So it's, if you tell yourself you're tired and you're hurt, you're going to be tired and hurt. So a lot of practice of just like, tough it up you did what you want to do now it's time to do what the kids want to do the kids want to go ice cream and a movie go so you it, it's a it's a finding that balance and then when i do get my alone time the next day sitting in silence meditating really feeling okay what hurts what's sore okay let's stretch that part out and and really just targeting the areas that need to and i've learned over the years that active recovery is the best recovery and that's really why my run streak works because when my legs are tired after those marathons um and because i do run and pace some road marathons um, and i run on the road every day um, and that gets that gets hard on the body and uh, waking up the next day after those sore miles the best thing for my body is to stay moving so I start with the slow, slow jog, and then I let my body tell me where we're going from there. So yoga, active recovery, and meditation is my biggest, biggest thing that I do for the next day. Nice. Right. And I, I need to get into that meditation. I, I, I try to, but um, yeah, that's definitely a good answer. Um, I, I, I go through the same struggle after like a long run in being present with the day-to-day -day stuff that I have to do, I still have other commitments. And part of me just wants yeah. to be like, Oh, I'm done with a day. I got my, yeah. <laughs> I ran my <laughs> miles. I'm, I'm done, but yeah. Really yeah. Not. Um, okay. Let's talk a little bit about American Ninja Warrior. How did that whole experience go? Um, it was an awesome experience. Um, there was a lot that led up to it, but long story short, the first year that I was selected, um, I wasn't going to make that video. And my only goal was the submission video to get in. My only goal was just to make it and tell my story, uh, mostly what I've told you at the beginning of you know, our conversation. Tell my story and get it out there to the people who know me, because I've never told it before. I told bits and pieces of it, but let me put it in a video format a three minute video and part the part of me sleeping in my car was hard for me to tell. Um, and I also had to get permission from my wife to share that. So, you know, it's kind of opening those wounds and, and, and exposing that side of me again, that vulnerable side. But my only goal was just to make the video and give it a shot. I never thought they would pick me. Um, and I thought <laughs> like, there's no way. Uh, but I've been training an American Ninja Warrior style since the beginning, you know, since I started my transformation, I've always been on the playground and I sent the video in, I posted it on Facebook, posted it to YouTube. I loved the response from my family and friends. And it was amazing um, that I was, you know, people could see me differently and they could see the real me and, and they know my story because a lot of my running friends only know this Earl. They don't, they didn't know my story and where I came from and where I fell. Um, so they picked me. I got on the stage. I was on the stage 
on the date of my seventh year, my seventh sobriety date, seven year sobriety. So standing on American Ninja Warrior stage, like Earl hooks and the cameras come around and, and my family's there. And I'm like, today I am seven years sober. Now, uh, and you remember day one where I was like five minute workout and, you know, going yep, crazy. Yep. And, and it's like, I never, if you'd have told me then that it was going to lead me to that, the yoga, the handstands, the running, um, the coaching, because the coaching is really what my story and then giving back to the community is really why they pick you. You know, they want a good story to tell. So all that led to me standing on that stage where, again, I was going to let the let the nation hear my story and it wasn't aired uh my my run wasn't aired in my part of the story but i did the interview and i ran the course and it was awesome my my, my family got to see it the obstacle my family was there in person we were at universal studios my family um they were they were standing there running along the side of the course as i was you know doing my thing it was a surreal moment yeah. and the the obstacle that I fell on uh, and I fell into the water, I was smiling when I fell into the water. It was just like, yeah. So they called me back in 2020. And um, so I made another video. I'm like, I don't know why they're going to pick me again. Nothing has changed. But I found new life. Like I found a new part of my story to tell. And it was more of me helping, like more of me being retired from racing and from me. And, and they picked me, they selected me, then COVID hit and they could cancel. I actually went down to LA in March. So it was early March. I went down for my birthday. It's my sobriety date, same date again. I'm like, all right, this is going to be cool. Second year round, you know, ah, I'm going to kill it this time. And uh, I'm going to get up that warped wall. And right before I left to LA, they postponed it. So they're like, COVID, everybody oh, shut yeah. down, Universal Studios. Like, so I still went to LA and I still had a good time with my family. And it's again, it's that like run a 50K, go be a dad, you know. Mm-hmm. Like I last time, the first time, 2019, we went to American Ninja Warrior. I didn't make the trip about American Ninja Warrior. We went for a week, we went to Disneyland, we went to Universal Studio, like it was a family trip. So, yeah. yeah, so I'm back. I'll be back 20 in 2021. Hopefully I'm going to send my video. Um, but yeah, they selected me again this year, but COVID hit. And then they offered me to go to Chicago in June. Um, and I, I didn't accept that offer. Um, I didn't want to fly and I wasn't going to be able to take my family. Uh, I still didn't feel like it was safe. And, and the only reason I do it is so that my family can be there and see it. And so, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's my American Ninja Warrior story. Oh, sure, very powerful <laughs> story. Uh, 